So today I will teach you 10 different tricks on your Samsung Galaxy phone and these are very useful features you might want to use them or turn them on and it will help you to navigate your phone much better. So let's get started. What are these 10 different features on your Samsung Galaxy phone? Make sure to stay all the way to the end because you might miss some important stuff on your phone. So let's get started. What are the 10 different features? So have you ever, let's just say this is your home screen, this is your app screen, you should know about this. Have you ever accidentally, you don't know how you delete it, it just disappeared. And you're like, oh my God, where is my widget or where's my app that I put on my home screen? It's very, very annoying because you don't know how it disappeared, but maybe sometimes your pocket, sometimes your hand, I don't know. How do we lock this home screen? So prevent accidentally delete things. So did you know that if you squeeze like that, and then you go to the setting, and then right at the bottom here, you can actually lock your home screen layout. So you will not accidentally delete anything on your home screen layout, okay? Not app screen, but the home screen, all right? This is your first trick because I have so many clients came back and suddenly like, oh, where is my weather? Uh, widget, where is my Google widget? They keep coming back and asking me, but they don't know when did they delete it. Maybe they're pocketing things like that. Now, if you turn that on, you just cannot delete anything because it's already locked right here. So pretend your phone is so big. Okay, let's just pretend. And then now if you want to swipe down, you have to go from the top and swipe down. What if from here, can I? I cannot do anything. You can see that, right? I cannot from anywhere on my home screen and I cannot swipe down. It doesn't work that way. You see that? So now it's quite annoying because this phone is so big, I need something better. I need to be like anywhere on my screen. If I swipe down, I should be able to pull down my uh, notifications. How do I turn that on? So if you actually go into your setting on your homepage, remember homepage, and if you just turn this on, you can see this right here. Swipe down notification panel from anywhere. So now if you turn this on, so let's just say the phone is so big, not this phone, but let's just say this phone is so big, I can swipe down anywhere I want and I will able to see my notification. Pretty, pretty cool, huh? So I just say go like this. You can see I can pull down my notifications just like that. Very simple. So number three, let's just say we're gonna swipe down like this. You see at the bottom here, there is like this thing called notification setting. We're gonna go in there. In here, this is all your apps, okay? Entirely everything is for you. And you can see Samsung already decided which one they shouldn't put notifications, which one they should put notifications. I just say trip.com, they know that I don't use it that much, then now I just they just turned up for me. Okay, so now let's just say I want WhatsApp, okay? Let's just say WhatsApp here. You click on here, okay, you turn this on. Now you can actually decide how you want the configuration to show up. How does it look like? You want to show like this, you want to show all three. You can decide whatever you want by just telling Samsung what do you want. So if we so if we go to the settings, you can see there's battery. And then let's just say we're gonna to go to battery protections. Okay, here is like if you actually think that your battery is dying you can actually use this battery protection. So you will actually prolong your battery. So you can actually limit to like say 80%, okay? So the phone only charges you up to 80% and after that it will stop. So it's just gonna prolong your battery, life expectancy will be longer and things like that. Or you can just try to maximize so they don't have to adapt. You just maximize and still go to 80% or 85%, depends what you want but this way it might gonna help you to prolong your battery life expectancy. So let's just say you're gonna go into your setting and then we're gonna go into sounds, okay, right there. Did you know that you can actually temporarily mute the sound? So let's just say if you actually, you know, like in the meeting suddenly, you can actually mute the sound for one, two, three, or customize how long you want to mute the sound. And after that, they will just turn off by themselves. So this is actually quite useful. It's inside the sound and vibrations, it's at the top right there. You can actually customize how long do you want to mute the sound. And the next trick is if you actually go to your vibrations, okay, 
let's say notifications or vibrations. Let's just say call vibrations, okay? And then if you want to control your vibrations, did you know it can sync with your ringtone? Whatever your song is, then the ring to, uh, the vibrations will sync with your ringtone and it's gonna be very, very cool because when you put on the table, it will, it will hear like a sound, your music's vibrations. So now we're gonna go into a display. Did you know Samsung knows that you're actually looking at the phone and they, they will not turn off the phone? How do I do this? It's actually quite interesting and very simple. If you look at the screen timeout right here, go in there, you can see keep screen on while viewing. So if you're actually looking at the screen, they will detect your face. You can see that. You turn that on, you don't have to go last 10 minutes, five minutes, you can go shorter. It's because once they detect your face, they know that you're looking, they will just keep the screen on just like that. Let's just say if you have a glove or you have a screen protector or a very, very bad screen protector, you try to tap, you try to touch, it doesn't work because the screen protector is so thick or your glove, it just doesn't work. Did you know that inside your setting, if you type touch sensitivities, it will actually improve the way that you touch the screen. You turn that on, so it's the way that you touch the phone, they, you, it will work right away. But when you, let's just say I tap this, this here, sometimes it disappeared pretty fast. You can see that it just, pretty fast. Let's just say I want to tap this and then by the time go there, it's already disappeared. How do you make that longer? It's actually pretty cool if you go into here. Right now you go to the setting and go to accessibility and advanced settings. And then right here, you can see time to take actions. Now this is where the bar is. You want to set it to like maybe like 10 seconds. So now let's just say if I turn this on, you can see it doesn't disappear right away like this. So now you have time to go into the three dots anytime you want. So it just take 10 seconds and then it will disappear. This is a very neat feature because sometimes people want to go in here, but it's too late because they just went disappear already. The very last feature is, let's just say if you want to take control of your phone, as I said, a timer for the app, the timer for the screen, you can go to digital well-being in here. At the bottom here, this is a, for your parents, okay, for you. You can set up the time goal. Right here, set up the goal. How long do they do you want to want them to go on the phone? Or right here, you can set, set up each app you want to set a timer. What is the timer? So let's just say I have a schedule, let's just say until maybe eleven. Okay, because it's almost 11. Okay, now press save. Okay, press save. Now you can see 22 hours left because it just started, right? It's only 22 hours left. And let's just say if you on your YouTube, at the bottom here, it will show you the time already. So even for your kids, when they see this, they will actually see like, oh, how many hours left for me to go on YouTube. That's a very, very neat feature. Please subscribe to my channel and share this video. And I hope this video helps you a lot. And please subscribe and see you next time. Bye-bye. Peace out.